All right. Uh, hello, everyone. This is John. And in this episode today, I just want to show you uh, a method on how to keep track of your previous SPSS analyses, actions, and commands. Um, it's very likely there will come a time when you're doing an analysis or performing certain commands, and you might forget on the steps that you took, or perhaps you just did not save uh, the analysis or commands properly, and you would like to have the opportunity to retrieve them one more time uh, in order to perform those analyses once again. Um, SPSS has a very unique feature. It's called uh, the journal, and it'll pretty much act as a memory bank for you, almost like a ba uh, black box that works behind scenes that'll keep a full record of all your previous actions and commands. So let me show you exactly where you go to find this. Go to edit, go to the bottom where it says options, and then go to file locations. And under file locations, there's a little heading called session journal. This is uh, what will be working behind the scenes that'll keep track of all your syntax, all your commands. So if any time you need to review them again or you lose track or perhaps uh, the session just was not saved properly, it is all going to be within the journal. So just make sure you have a, a tick here where it says record syntax and journal. And then there will be two options, amend, append or overwrite. Append just means that every time you're in SPSS, it'll have, um, it'll just keep adding new information to the journal from one session to the next. And overwrite will pretty much refresh the journal each time you enter SPSS. So if there was information from before, but you enter SPSS again, it's going to overwrite that information and start fresh from that session. But pretty much here, it shows the pathway to the journal. And it's at this pathway, you're going to have a black box memory code for all the previous commands that you did. So for example, you could click browse. And here is the file right here. So let me quickly demonstrate how this would work. So let's say, for example, I have a small data set here. Just for, um, just for sake of example, I have age, gender, and education level. Let's say I want to run some descriptives. I put together some frequencies. Click OK. Um, and let's say I also choose to run some descriptives as well. Um, in many cases, you're probably going to be running much more sophisticated analysis. But for sake of example, I'm just running a few very simple preliminary analyses. Let's not save it. And let's now go back to the journal. So as before, you go to Edit, Options, and here's the pathway to your journal. So for example, if you go to Open Syntax, you can op access the journal through here. You have to click all files because it won't recognize the JLN uh, code. Click statistics. And here is all the analysis that I just performed when uh, just now for this demonstration. Here is the date at which this journal has documented these commands, which was exactly two minutes ago. It mentions the name of the data set, which is data set one which is good to know in case you're working with multiple data sets. And then it has directly coded everything that I just performed, the frequencies and the descriptives and exactly everything I did for each. So that is a great thing to have, especially if at any time uh, something messes up during your analyses or during your session within SPSS. I'm going to exit it now and show you really quickly by entering through that pathway where the journal was, just pull this up, that here is the document. And you can access it as a text file as well, as you can see here. And you have a copy of all the analysis that you just did. This is a great way to keep track of everything you're doing and always have a record of things. You can choose to um, always add new sessions to the journal where the date would start here again and more information would be added, or you could choose to overwrite. One thing I would specifically mention when using uh, this journal feature 
is that if you're working on um, multiple PCs that have the same SPSS license and you don't have the option to save a journal with on with on the computer on the hardware on the computer use an SPS you uh, use a USB key and set the pathway to the USB key this way the text file or the journal file will be saved to the USB key so when you access perhaps another computer you can reset that pathway to that USB key I hope this was informative. Um, if there's anything else that someone would recommend when using this journal feature, please let me know. I'm always looking.